There you go. Awesome, bro. I All appreciate right. it. Ooh, it reminds me of banana candy. What's up, guys? And welcome back to another episode of The $5 Bite. On today's episode, we are all the way in Baytown, Texas, about 30 minutes east from downtown Houston, and we're gonna try Trinidadian food. So we've got Asha's Roti Shop right in front of me here, and I've heard great things and I've seen good prices, so I hope we can keep it under budget and show you what you can get here at Asha's Roti Shop. Now a little background about Trinidad. It is a country just off of the coast of Venezuela, which is in South America. It is known to have a lot of Indian influence, Caribbean influence, African influence as well. So a lot of the dishes have a little bit of an Indian flair to it or some of the Caribbean dishes like oxtail. But you'll notice there's roti in the name of Asha's Roti Shop. Roti is a type of Indian bread, so they definitely probably have something with a little bit of curry flavors or chickpeas possibly, and they have some Jamaican or Caribbean influences into their food from what I'm looking at on the menu here. So with that said, let's go inside and check it out. Hi, um, got a question. So, it's my first time here. We're trying to keep a budget of five dollars, though. So, what would you recommend, first timer, to try? You know, I would say uh, two doubles. With two doubles, you get five dollars. What are the doubles? Doubles is um like the fluffy dough. With, okay. Um, sana, season sana inside of it. Okay. Now I see the tax is not included. So it has to be five exact. So yes, it's five exact. Oh, it is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. So just you wouldn't say try like the plantains or alu pie. Yeah, you could try all of that too. But I know if you had a budget for five. Five bucks. Yeah. Two alu pie. Yeah. Uh, two hot doubles. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Or would you say do one of the hot doubles and try try one of the drinks maybe or? Yeah, maybe two fifty also. Oh okay, so with taxes included. Yeah, so everything is fine. Okay, cool. Maybe like a cola champagne, uh, banana solo, and green. And Which one's the top Trini drink? Uh, the banana solo. Banana solo. Yeah. And two fifty for that one. Yeah. Okay, so why don't we do one hot double, one of the banana soda. Banana solo, sorry. Okay. And it's $5 even? Yes. Perfect. There you go. Awesome, bro. I All appreciate right. it. So this is like, you said it's chickpeas, like chana yeah, inside? Chickpeas, yeah. Okay, cool. And then is it the roti? What is it like similar to roti back in India? I don't know if you're, you know there's like a multitude of different types of rotis. Right, right. Specifically, I don't know what kind of one you get. We just have one called dal puri roti. Okay. Which is just like like small, I don't even, I don't even know. It's, it's like, like you said it's puri. puri? Yeah, it's like small dal puri inside of it and it's one big wrap like this. Okay. This and potatoes and meat. But okay. is it like chapati or, or not? Okay, no, no, worries. I think it, I, I know what it is just because you said puri. Puri is like South Indian style. Yeah, okay. So I think I'm, I, I'm, I'm gonna check it out, man. I appreciate it. Okay, I'm gonna do the review in the car, man. All right. Then. Thanks again. What's your name? Dylan. Dylan, nice to meet you, man. Sean. <laughs> Thanks. All right, guys, we are back in the car. Got my food here with the drink. And I'm gonna get the tray real quick here. Ooh, it's hot today. It's been raining and then. Today it just decided to shoot back up to the 80s. All right, let's get to trying the food. So this one is the hot double. I was gonna do two of these, but I wanted to try something a little bit different on the menu as far as drinks go. So I got this banana solo, which looks awesome. Look at this. This is cool. And this is the one that the guy in the front, I think his name is Dylan, he had explained to me this was the one that's Trinidadian the most I guess because they have a few other sodas they have like champagne soda which I've tried before it looks almost the same color like this it's from Goya so I'm looking forward to trying the solo out it definitely is a lot of sugar in here so I probably won't drink the whole thing I'll bring some back for Sandy to try but um, this was 250 and then the doubles hot doubles uh, was also 250 it says tax not included but when I asked the guy at the at the window, he did say it would be $5 even. So that is good. We kept it under budget. We'll have to come back here to check out like the actual dishes, you know, when we have no budget. Because from what I'm seeing, the price is at like 7 
to ten dollars which still isn't bad I mean and, and I'm seeing big portions of food one thing I will say is it does take a little time some of these people have been waiting about 15 to 25 minutes so it is a little bit of a wait but I think this place has a lot of people coming in so I'm pretty sure it's good the reviews online are good as well so let's dig in okay so we've got the hot doubles now hot doubles he was explaining to me that it's got chickpeas inside all right so here we go not big but i can smell the flavor coming out of this thing this is good from the smell oh look at that that looks good you can see the chickpeas probably has some dal which is like a lentil oh look at that okay so it's two pieces of the of the bread which is he called it puri which puri is an actual South Indian kind of dough that people eat. So, and it does feel like a puri, like I would have in a South Indian place. And yeah, this smells like Indian food, you know, and Trinidad has a lot of Indian influence, a lot of Caribbean influence. I actually saw some people coming in here that I think they worked here, the owners possibly, and they looked Indian, like literally, they have a little different accent, but they are definitely of Indian descent. So there's a lot of Indian people all over the world. And Trinidad is one of those places. Very, very interesting how history, you know, shows the movement of people and, of course, the food, you know. So, all right, let's dig in here. So it's a little bit messy, but it's okay. I'm going to take a bite of this. And you can see there. All right. It's like a mini taco. definitely right off the bat you taste the Indian influence of it a lot of spice a lot of flavors it's not too spicy but flavorful wise it does have that spices taste to it and smell and as soon as you get outside you can smell the spices they're cooking up a good amount of good stuff in there I see things like chicken curry stew chicken oxtail dinner goat dinner shrimp dinner fish dinner beef dinner jerk chicken on Mondays dumpling and saltfish on Thursdays something called pillow pillow let me know in the comments if you're familiar with what that is. And there's also rotis, there's wraps, they have appetizers. So again, this is the hot doubles, which to me, they taste great. This is $2.50 and I would have gotten two of them, but I wanted to show something else. You know, I like to do that. So I got the soda, outstanding. I would come back and order this again, but I want to try other stuff next time. So that's probably not gonna happen. Although I would order it just to eat it alongside with whatever else I order. But let's try the banana solo cola if you had this before let me know what are your thoughts or what else i should try next time i come because they have a whole slew of different drinks you can try okay so it is carbonated i can already smell the banana Ooh, it reminds me of banana candy like almost like juicy fruit bubble gum almost i like it though so far just the smell is good okay bottoms up That's good. That washes down really good with this Chana. Chana's chickpeas, y'all, for all those that don't know. This is awesome. Very refreshing, carbonated. It's a lot of sugar, not gonna lie, but I'm not gonna drink this every day and I'm not gonna drink a whole case of it, but um, it is definitely a nice treat to have here. And there's a lot of people here lined up coming in to get food, so. Very, very good. And the people here, you can tell they're locals. A lot of Trini people. Great spot. I'm glad I found this place. I'm gonna finish this for sure. Definitely wanna take a picture of this. Absolutely love it. And then eat the rest of these chickpeas too. Cause it's actually really good. And it's veggie. So vegetarians unite. You can come here and enjoy Asha's Roti Shop. And they also have a veggie roll, beef roll, goat roll, shrimp roll, stew chickens. They have a potato roll. So they have alu pies on Wednesdays. Alu is potato. So really good spot. You know, I wish it was bigger some seating but not a whole lot it's kind of grab and go so you want to take it to go or get one of these trays oh my god get one of these trays and eat in your car in the ac like me so with that said i hope you enjoyed this video give it a like if you did comment down below let me know what you think of trinidadian food if you had it before or if there's another spot that you recommend me try out or a dish as well i want to hear from you guys especially if you're from Trinidad or you have a lot of experience of trying Trinidadian food. If you enjoyed the video though, give it a like, drop a comment down below and really consider subscribing. We've got a lot more videos coming soon and we've got a lot of videos that are already on our uh, channel so you can take a look at those as playlists and lots of fun stuff to eat, to travel and do. With that said, see you on the next one. Bye.